Anyone a fan of swords? I know my audience. Some of you are hyper fixated on swords, you dorks. I say that lovingly. Look at my dorky bullshit. Anyway, prepare to get mad, because there's going to be some misinformation about swords. Metal armors and swords and the knights. What if I tell you that these, these are like electromagnetic uh, weapons? That's why they were made of metal. Everything we understand. That's why they were made of metal, because they're electromagnetic weapons. There's no other reason that humans would make pointy slashy sticks out of metal about uh, medieval and stuff like that and fighting with swords we see them as metallic swords uh, with that clash but what if and this is where the whole thing about the jedi knights in star wars comes from as well they were metal and metallic and everything was metal because we live in a we live in a electromagnetic world you know black sun dome ether and everything everything was made to use this energy just like the so he doesn't believe in gravity is what he just said it's a little hard to decipher uh, he believes in the electric universe hypothesis, which is a conspiracy theory that thinks gravity isn't real, and the only real fundamental force in the universe is electromagnetism. It's nonsense. It's objectively wrong. The buildings with atmospheric electricity devices to get it. So this is like what you see in the movies as well. And yeah, pretty much Nikola Tesla knew all about this. So he didn't invent anything. He just wanted to make things better for us. Um, X-rays of Bronze Age sword grips. Intricate designs indicate some sort of technology. Question is why? And that's why... You mean the decorative hilt? Like, it's pretty, but that's... That's not magic. It's not for electricity. It's literally because they want pretty hilts for their swords because the sword was a social symbol, not simply a weapon. These were clearly also status symbols of some kind. I don't know how practical these swords even are in a fight. They just look nice. <laughs> Fanikigami says, misinformation about swords. Is this a friend of Shadversity? These designs are so because at the end of the day, they were metallic based and for the uh, circulation of the electromagnetic field and power. That's why coils, just like the Tesla coils, but the ones before Egypt had these as well. Uh, coils generate. You just gotta throw ancient Egypt in there somewhere. Vortices, vortex creates an electromagnetic field, and we are electromagnetic beings, and everything is electromagnetic. Magnetic field conducts currents in and out lines of force in a torus circuit and uh, speaking about um this that this is like a screenshot from like a, a real uh, display of people doing this uh, those are cool i've seen those shows before but they're standing on like coils that are constantly pumping tons of electricity through them like they can't do that when they're not standing on the pillars they're literally using the show weapons as conduits but, like, I don't even think those weapons are probably actual weapons. They're literally just made for that, to shoot stuff out at each other for a show. It's a performance. Uh, using the electromagnetic and uh, electric forces of the environment. Um, in Game of Thrones, when they show, and not just Game of Thrones, even video games and other movies, when they show these swords on fire. Well, electricity can create fire. <laughs> I mean... Okay, that doesn't mean electricity is fire. It is not. And light. So for a primitive person who does not understand vocabulary of electric forces and electromagnetic stuff and technology, if they see an, a metallic sword uh, that displays light or like heat, it's the electromagnetic current that displays light and also heat. And even but that's clearly fire. Fire. Um, Fire doesn't look like electricity. Can be created, just like we see today uh, in the forces of the electric current, right? And that's, yeah, that's pretty much. Now I, now I understand this whole magic and uh, focusing on the swords, you know, back in the day. And, and uh, we're going to see about the metal, metallic armor knights as well. But yeah, this is what, uh, and this. Why would they be wearing metal armor? Wouldn't that be the worst thing to wear if you were fighting someone with electric powers? Because it's conductive. Famous uh, Nuremberg from the 17th century, so-called. What is lightning bending if not advanced fire bending? You know that is the last Airbender canon, so I can't really argue with that, can I? 1650, um, the games. Well, 
test like coil games in the 17th century and if you do a zoom you see that it's not fire it's electricity and electromagnetic currents and uh, this is where the jedi knights from star wars got their inspiration uh well the creators of star wars although i don't like star wars because they make the country of the man of the mustache uh from the 20th century look bad There's that. <sighs> Over anti-Semitism on the bingo card. But anyway, you understand, you know, symbology if you are wise enough. Anyway, um, this is from the 17th century in Germany. So now we understand that the medieval ages had nothing to do with um, darkness. They, it was, everything was to do with super electricity, which is everywhere and ether. And uh, these famous weapons that also appear in the mythology with Zeus and uh, the Greeks and also Egypt and other um, mythological stories. Weapons uh, for using the electricity of the environment and also the Anakai, the, the, the Anakai gods and Egypt and the Babylon, Bab Babylon and all that stuff. And everything we see in the past in mythology is to do with electricity. Uh, evolving electric discharge in plasma chamber looks exactly like the ancient Greek forms of the thunderbolt and we have the um does it look exact so you have the i don't think it does okay we have the ancient angel um b -b -b says i feel it would be really interesting to play D, D with some of these wackos but then they go and praise mustache man and you just get so deflated yeah so he'd probably be good in sargon's D, &D group remember that time sargon did a D, &D game but they were all nazi vampires yeah, that happened. Messy Jaden says it doesn't take Star Wars to make Hitler look bad, my guy. No kidding. Indian type of mythology. We have the Greek mythology. We have Thor, uh, the god of thunder in, in the Nordic mythology. Remember, uh, I, I'm just watching the Avengers movie right now, and I just love the character of Thor. Wait, but you like the Avengers, though? The Avengers also make the Nazis look bad. Uh, if anything, I guess, the Avengers kind of whitewashes the Nazis with Hydra. They kind of ignore the actual Nazis and are just like, let's not talk about that. Hydra, yeah, they're they're a rogue Nazi science division who don't care about racial shit at all, somehow. <laughs> By Chris Chris Hemsworth, played. And yeah, electric knights and the exoskeleton armor. Look at this. You know when you, we say about... Um, the metallic... Red Skull works closely with Hitler, but in the MCU shockingly never says a thing about race ever <laughs> armors and some of them they look so weird what if these armors were not meant for humans like you and me for people like you and me but for other entities that don't have a human type body and they need to uh go inside those armors and uh behave like humans in our world and that's what makes sense when we see these disgusting ugly worm type creatures and um what if they go inside the armor and they live among us and even when they fight against us who knows maybe the knights uh also depicted like that or just so he thinks knights were like the worm creatures from that season finale of tng that everyone forgets about that melted the face at the end because there's like a worm guy in the admiral just real aliens but not aliens from the spinning ball curved planets spheres like you see in the movies but other type of entities that come from different continents because this universe is so big and yeah this is from a museum in italy he thinks that flat earth works like one piece he thinks the world is one big flat plane that's full of oceans and islands that just goes on forever and uh, yeah very uh, creepy and disgusting when you see something like that coming out. Looks like super, super disgusting, you know, more more like uh, an insectoid or like a worm type thing. Anyway, Earthworm Jim. Someone else must have already said that, right? Okay. Who knows? And what if... Feels like the obvious joke is Earthworm Jim. Like, you know, these armors were just like that. So then we fight against the... Who remembers this? I don't know. Let's see what this is. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, I'll do the voices, why not? You mean that's not just some crazy disguise? I've been working with a Nazi! 
But of course, why are you so upset, Joker? From what I've read of your exploits, it seems obvious you would make a superb Nazi. That mask must be cutting off your oxygen to your brain. I may be a criminal lunatic, but I'm an American criminal lunatic. Keep back, boys. This creep is mine. How unfortunate. Much such misplaced patriotism. And now you die! And they try and kill each other. These, these uh, beings, some of them have like the, the heads of pigs or the heads of dogs or the heads of who knows what. And what if inside those armors, you know, they we have these Depends legends. Depends on the version of the Joker. I could see like the animated series Joker acting like that, but not many other ones. Unless they explicitly thought it was fucking hilarious. But I don't know. I, I don't think the Joker would get along with, with Nazis, but not necessarily because he would be disgusted with them, but because they take themselves too seriously. And the Joker can't stand that shit. So, like, I don't think he would team up with Nazis, but mostly because he would just think they're ridiculous because they're so, like, trying to be serious. You know what I mean? It's about this. We're talking about fic a fictional character, so it doesn't really matter. But that's my take on the character: is he would hate the Nazis, but not because of the stuff you should hate Nazis for, because fascists take themselves way too seriously, and he would find them a really easy target. Spirit of the armor and stuff. What if they were electromagnetic beings that needed these metallic armors to be able to interact with us in the real world? Um, Faraday suits. Even EMF clothing have their uh, electromagnetic protective shielding properties by mirroring medieval chain mails, uh, chain mail armor. And it makes sense now when we see the whole metallic armors and the metal swords. And now we know a it lot because of... It doesn't make sense. It makes sense in a show where you want the lightning to hit you in certain places. But if you are trying to avoid being hit by lightning in a real combat scenario and you have some kind of weird lightning firing devices... You do not want to be wearing metal. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Hollywood movie. It would be rubber. It would be layers and layers of rubber and other insulating things. Uh, and um, I don't know. And honestly, uh, the first thing that came to my mind when I was a kid and a teenager, uh, when I started asking questions, because that's what you do, you know, when you think about a bit. I was looking at all these like stories of um, medieval knights with their swords and I was like, man, is it really true that they were using these metallic swords just to fight in a very primitive manner by hitting the swords? Or was it Are more really to these swords? Are really at the point where we're calling like, hit it, like sword? Like, <laughs> I get it. It's not like modern warfare, but we're calling like fighting with steel swords primitive? Come on. This is so rude to sword makers. Do you know how hard it was to invent steel? They had to pee on stuff. Alden Undying says, Hannah, so you think the Joker pays more in taxes than Trump? Oh, 100%. Than just that. And when I saw this uh, Nuremberg thing for the first time, and because of the Star Wars movies, I thought, wait a minute, the lightsaber, lightsaber, electromagnetic force, electricity. And that's when I started to say, oh, wait a minute. So the whole history was changed to make us think that the whole swords and um, knights and all this stuff were just for ornamental purposes or their fights were just your typical clash class of the swords and that's it. Whether like the whole history then, this means that the whole story and history about primitive soldiers just fighting against each other with us. Is it really that hard to believe that for a lot of human history we we're just trying to create better pointy sticks to poke each other with so all the blood comes out? I don't think that's that crazy. That tracks completely with human behavior that I've seen. <laughs> Fede Kagami says, One Piece is the most creative and frankly makes more sense than anything these guys come up with. It's also more trans and gay affirming too. Heck, there's free HRT that only takes one injection and bam, instant transition. I will take two, please. Swords hitting them. Maybe it's just a, an invention. And in the actual fact, the wars, the, the wars they had was with... Uh, electromagnetic forces that would come electricity swords and clashing them and fighting with them and um, and explosions because you no know, electric forces make explosions and and the heat and they damage and they they put things on fire and all that stuff so yeah fascinating stuff uh when these things and now i understand this whole um 
thing about the knights, right? Because we have knights in Europe, but also in like other parts of the world, and they would clash, and they would see in, in all many of these depictions uh, back in the day, you would see these lights or like fires. Of course, people, uh, primitive people, would show these things uh, as if they this were on so fire. This is so shitty. But well, in actual fact, just like we see in the biblical texts, uh, which are not even biblical, uh, we see the description of oh, the 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 chariot of fire. No, it's just a chariot with light bulbs and electricity. <laughs> There's no fire. It's just for a primitive person who doesn't understand the vocabulary of science, they would say, oh, a chariot of fire, because I don't have the vocabulary of using UFO or aircraft or you know, and light bulbs and electricity. Super amazing stuff. And Stupid bitches. It was just light bulbs. Don't you know? Don't you know?